this is a long overdue video but today i'm going to show you guys how i prepared that nice fall off the bone baked chicken and that cheesy what i call and what bay calls kitchen sink macaroni we did not have all of um our regular ingredients for macaroni so we just threw it together and it was still delicious see you guys after the intro what up fam and welcome back to our channel i'm jazz and before we get into anything make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified every time we post a brand new video so today i'm going to show you guys how i made that fall off the bone baked chicken i already have some italian seasoning and some worcestershire sauce that i've seasoned the chicken with and i'm going to let it marinate while i get started on my macaroni now everybody really knows how to make macaroni and this macaroni is just some what we had in the refrigerator to make macaroni with for a side today so really um it's really no telling you guys what i'm gonna do with this macaroni everyone makes macaroni different see now i'm starting with my hot noodles and my butter getting that all melted And now in here, I'm going to mix in me a wet mixture, my eggs, my milk, um, and I'm going to make sure I scramble it up. And that's going to be my wet mixture that I put into my macaroni. Some people make like a cheese sauce to put in their macaroni. Everyone is different. This was really um, a quick macaroni for today. So there aren't really a bunch of steps that I'm going to be doing. This is some kitchen sink, as Bay would say, macaroni. Whatever we got in the kitchen. <laughs> Make sure you guys let me know down in the comments what you put in your macaroni. Now you guys have been seeing us make all type of cheese sauces with all our seafood. So this is honestly just left <laughs> leftover cheese. Look at this cheese. It started getting melted together, but you know what? It's still cheese, and we're gonna when we put it in the oven, it's gonna melt anyway. So we're gonna crumble it up in there anyway. Everybody loves cheese. You can never have enough of cheese. Now in this macaroni, I did add um, some Parmesan cheese. I didn't. I couldn't really tell the difference, but it was um, a little bit more creamy. Now I'm adding in those eggs and milk that you guys saw me mix up. And I didn't actually mix up enough eggs and milk because it wasn't to my wet consistency that I wanted it before it goes in the oven. When you bake a macaroni, you want it to be as wet as you can stand it so that when you put it in the oven it doesn't dry out some people add more and more cheese but i don't really like the taste of a lot of cheese in my macaroni because it makes my mouth feel gummy i just like it to taste like macaroni and cheese so in here i did add some sour cream and sometimes i'll mix the sour cream with the milk and i think i was trying to hurry up so that's why i didn't do that this time and the counter is clean so if you see me throw that noodle back up in there it's my counter and I know it's clean <laughs> I'm not sure what seasoning you guys add to your macaroni but I do like to put um, garlic powder pepper and that's my favorite um, some smoked paprika and a dash of sugar just a dash now The sugar in there really balances out that sour cream. And here you can see that I am adding more milk because it wasn't wet enough for me. And I'm going to actually add um, milk in a couple of more times you're going to see. But I, you really have to sometimes do it to your liking. Now for anyone who's wondering why the camera is so off, 
<laughs> we said in the mukbang of us eating this delicious food that Deb was asleep. So it was just little on me by myself and I actually recorded this on my phone. So I have you guys sitting <laughs> in a cabinet. <laughs> so you can see what I'm doing but I know you see a lot of counter right there. But as long as you can see what your girl is doing, that's all right. You got to do what you got to do. Y'all know how we do. Now we're going to pour that good old macaroni into our casserole dish or whatever dish you like. And I'm going to put it in the oven for about, um... I really don't have a time. I kind of just watch it and I start to look for when it starts to bubble up the cheese. And I make sure that the cheese does not get too brown on top. So I can't really tell you how long I left it in there. Probably about 30 minutes. But I did have the oven on 400. Now, I actually didn't put it in the oven right away. I actually set it to the side because now we're going to put that good chicken we had marinating in our casserole dish to get ready to go into the oven with the macaroni. Now, since this is baked chicken and I only let it marinate in the Worcestershire sauce in the Italian seasoning, now I'm going to add a few of those extra seasonings that I like. I didn't want them to soak up all those juices because sometimes it could be a little salty. So, on top, what I'm putting is um, smoked paprika. Right now, you see me pouring in some liquid smoke. If you do not have you some liquid smoke, get you some it is a life for those days you want some good smoked chicken but from your oven is the bomb and i also added some lemon pepper on top and now what i'm going to do is put i didn't put a whole tablespoon probably about, i cut it really thin about a half a tablespoon of um butter on top and I put it in the oven uncovered for 20 minutes. And there we go. Now we have a nice golden coat going on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put aluminum foil on top. And I'm going to put it back in the oven on 350 for 45 minutes. Kind of like, kind of like a crock pot slow, but just not as slow. And here goes our macaroni. I put it in when we put the um, chicken in the second time. That's when I put in the macaroni. Now watch in a second how Bay scoops this macaroni out of this pan to put it, get ready for the mukbang. See that, those juices that that chicken made? Oh, it was just falling off the bone. It was so good. Now it has been kind of sitting on the counter because it came out way before the <laughs> way before the chicken. So it did come out in the block, but still look at that cheese. Look at that cheese. It was delicious. And here we go. It's time to eat. You guys have already seen this mukbang. But if you have not already seen this mukbang and you are new, I will make sure to link it after this video in the description or in a note card above. Make sure you go check it out. Watch how that chicken falls off the bone. Those baked potatoes. I really didn't do anything extra to those. Just mashed them up and put them back in there. Ooh. And that cheesy macaroni, that kitchen sink macaroni. 
we didn't even have all of our ingredients and it was still good so make sure you guys check that out subscribe if you are not already subscribed and until next time love you fam